The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. In the 1800s, women didn't go to the doctor for diseases or catastrophic medical problems that could occur during childbirth. One South Carolinian changed women's medical care forever. Dr. James Marion Sims is known as the father of modern gynecology. James Marion Sims was born in 1813. He's from Lancaster, South Carolina, Lancaster County. His dad was a sheriff there. Um, and he went to what's now, I guess, MUSC for a semester, it sounds like, and then up to the, the medical college in Philadelphia. When he finished there, he did come back to Lancaster. And his dad set him up on Main Street <laughs> with a little office, but he really didn't, hadn't been prepared for what he was uh, to do. Um, because there really wasn't any internships or residency, so they only had book learning, okay? His first two patients died. I suspect that's the reason his dad moved him to Alabama to uh, do an apprenticeship under uh, two doctors there. In Montgomery, Alabama, Sims built a little hospital in his backyard and began experimenting on three enslaved women, each suffering from a debilitating condition called fistula. A fistula is an abnormal connection between, say, the bladder and the vagina, which is what we're referring to in our discussion, or between the vagina and the rectum. But it's a, a, an abnormal connection, so secretions from one pass into the other. The traditional medical thinking of the day was that this was not curable, that these women were going to suffer, they were going to be ostracized, they often lived together apart from society. Sims developed new surgical techniques to repair fistulas, often using slaves without anesthesia as subjects for his medical research. Dr. Sims has a somewhat controversial past because he began his operations on slaves in the 19th century. And in today's world, it seems sort of inconceivable. You have to put it in the context of when he was practicing. This is the mid-1800s, um, the uh, 19th century. Um, slavery was in existence. All of his early work, pioneering work, was done on slaves. In 1853, Sims moved to New York City, where he founded the first women's hospital. During the American Civil War, Sims moved to Europe, working primarily in London and Paris. He was surgeon to Empress Eugenie of France. When he returned to New York, Sims established a cancer institute and served as president of the American Medical Association. Sims died in 1883. Dr. J. Marion Sims was really a pioneer in the field of gynecology. Uh, he was one of the first to do an internal exam on a woman. Um, he developed instruments to let us visually look inside the vagina and see the pathology that was there. And he developed uh, the prototype of the instruments we use today to examine the uh, vagina. Dr. James Marion Sims was innovative, he was caring, and he tried to make the lives better for all the patients that he encountered. <laughs>